And hello from abroad. We have changed locations, still in Bali all day. It was kind of like located in the very center of Bali, but we've just come to our next hotel. This lighting is awful. I'm really excited for this vlog. I feel like there's a lot more we can do, especially because Jed was so ill in Semenya. The hotel location is a bit further out, so we haven't quite figured out how we're gonna get to and from like the center yet. But oh my God, it's amazing because like where we are, we're in like the more foresty like type of place. That made no sense. And me and Jed have actually just come out onto the like terrace area and there's little monkeys that you can just see everywhere. It's so cute. I can't probably see any anymore, but there was literally like a whole pack like just moving through the jungle. You can kind of see them because all like, the trees will kind of like shake, so you can see that there's some around there. Um, you can kind of actually see this little guy up there, but I don't think you'd be able to see him because it's quite far away. We just found that so cool. This hotel is absolutely insane. So this is our little balcony area. Okay, so as you walk in, we've got Jennifer. Really big sofa, really cool bed, um, a TV. Then you come in and we've got the toilet. Really, oh, this bathroom, I'm so obsessed with this. It's very like Balinese and I'm so, I'm loving it so much. And then we've got this shower, which is so cool. It's kind of like these um pebbles. And then there's bath. I'm so actually excited that we have a bath. I'm quite sure what we're gonna get up to now. I think we're just gonna enjoy the rest of the day. Hello from a very wet person. So uh, I didn't vlog today just cause Jed did a bit of vlogging. We literally had the busiest day. We, what have we done today? We went to the Not monkey much. forest. Not much. <laughs> went to the monkey forest. We did a waterfall. We've done a temple. We went to a restaurant for like some Balinese food. Really, really fun. We've done so much. Like we jam packed so much into six hours. We went with this guide. Um, it was just one of the ones on TripAdvisor. It's actually really good. It, he basically just like drove us around for the day and then you kind of pay to go into these places. But I think like the monkey forest, was that eight pound together or eight pound each? I think it was eight pound both of us. I think it was only four pounds to go to the monkey forest and things like that and honestly it was insane the footage that jed got was so sick so definitely check out jed's vlog for that one because again he vlogged this whole day but yeah we just got back jumped in the pool and i'm not gonna lie it's still so cold like the pool is so cold just because i think it is cold it'd be less cold if we were like oh like we really need to like get in and cool ourselves down but this is the weather and it's been like it for so long now but nothing you can do about it i think these pools are always so cool i really i keep saying to jed like i really want to get an instagram of like him from like a high rise angle because it's like all terror i'm um, also that's the um, stamp for the waterfall. Not some random mold that I've got on my leg, on my I'm on my arm. But yeah, I really want to get some really cool content of like him, like bird's eye. But I've got to convince him to do that. Because you'd think having an Instagram boyfriend, he'd be very like, oh yeah, I'll take an Instagram. But instead, he's like, Are you kidding me? Not again. Yeah. He's gone quiet on me. He's probably looking at his phone too much. Hello. Sorry. Sorry. What you just choose you to say? ignore me. <laughs> What did you say? What did you say? Um, but yeah, we just, I've just ordered a couple of <laughs> words. I've just ordered a pot of tea. Jed's got some water coming. Um, and yeah, we're just going to chill for the rest of the day. Probably vlog tomorrow, depending on what we do tomorrow. But yeah, like we were saying, we've kind of done a lot of Ubud in one day. We want to do a trip to the Gili... Uh, no, not the Gili Islands. It's either the Gili Islands or Nusa Pendi, Penida, Pendida, a different island. We want to do that, but we think we're going to do that on a different day just because we've actually done so much today. But yeah, I do apologize for not vlogging today i just thought like i just really wanted to enjoy today and just like be fully on it i'll make sure i do some more vlogging because i feel like i've kind of just like brought you on camera and said like oh this this and this and that's obviously a bit boring i will check in with you shortly oh, could <gasps> you can't be. Oh. and we're back in our humble abode it's so weird to think that this is the cheapest out of the whole hotels that we're staying in yeah that's really crazy because i think it might be the biggest well no that's a lie i think the last one will be the biggest and that's when we go to Uluwasu, which is like And we paid like, oh man! And we paid like a little, oh fuck. <laughs> Jed. I got a longer one, back off. Okay, I'm turning it back. Oh my face! Night, everyone. Night, sweeties. Hey, fast forward to the next night. Don't you 
had a day of doing absolutely nothing, chilling by the pool, eating food, having dining. drinks. Someone's been dining. Just a little bit, but I didn't mean to. I really didn't mean to. It was because the sun was on like one side of me the whole day, the way that we were like we were sat facing whatever. But yeah, we just come out for dinner. We've come into the center of Uber. So we just ordered. Oh, he's in his heels. Um, but yeah, we just ordered some food. I've got a salad coming. What have you got? I ordered a cheeseburger. A cheeseburger. Normally I'd order a cheeseburger for an hour and then I'll get some sides there, some sides there. I can't eat anything still, guys. <laughs> Honestly, I get so full so quick, it's so irritating. I actually ordered the salad. It sounds really strange, but I was saying to Jeff, all say, like, all I've wanted is a Philadelphia cream cheese sandwich and some cucumber in the sandwich. Like, that would be the idea of paradise right now. I don't know why I'm really craving, like, British food. Not even British food. I don't know what the word is. But you know when you've been away for such a long time, but, like, you're trying to find meals here and there, just ready for anything. I am so excited for this. Just greens. I literally haven't eaten any greens in so long, so I'm craving this so bad. How's yours? I don't know, guys. Eat it, eat it, eat it. This guy is so good. We've genuinely sat down at a restaurant and then had like music comes and we've like never seen it go around the world. It's so good. I don't want to get copyrighted. But if I can't get copyrighted, I'd be so good. Honestly, like, it's just, I'm so good. Yum, yum, yum. Ice cream is my favorite part about dinner. And oh my god, I've got peanut butter and it looks so good. You've gone for brownies. You don't like peanut butter, do you? But he'll, he's been eating chicken satay this whole holiday, but yeah, super yummy. We're now just getting some snacks because we refuse to be extortion, extorted for water. I think that's the right word. I think this is bread. This is not my stuff for lunch, I'll be I think this is bread, but we're gonna try and make sandwiches tomorrow. Non-cross bread. Yeah, that's what one part of the Did you tell them that it's non-cross bread? It kind of looks like a packet of tissues, doesn't it? No, it looks like a sponge. Um, do you wanna get some Oreos? We know again, bread. Yeah, I'll get one as well. This bread really intrigues me. Don't know why. Should we get some? Uh, it does not intrigue me. Okay. Um, and we are back. I swear to God, every single time we get into a taxi, it's like we get a little TED talk um, from the locals, like the taxi drivers. Fab. I absolutely love it. Um, Jeff's very much like he likes to have a chat to an extent. But I've just learned so much, genuinely. This TED talk we had, he was telling me about the different celebrations they have and the fact that they celebrate basically everything from a woman getting her period to like a guy's voice dropping. I just, it's crazy. Cause like he was saying that they kind of celebrate what they take and give back. So that's obviously like the plantations and the animals. But yeah, I actually love the culture here. Like that one, there's so much of it. Too, like I don't know I just absolutely love it I think it's just so as cringy as it is to say it's genuinely so beautiful but that is just Hinduism in general but honestly it's insane but yeah we had some uh, really good ice cream went to the supermarket as you would have seen I'm just gonna get into bed now kind of what time is it babe uh -huh. what time's it, babe uh, quarter past 11 no it's not <laughs> okay quarter past 10 no, it's not. Okay, 20 to 10. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Okay, so 20 to 10. Going to jump to bed. Are we still going to watch Beverly Hills Trower? Um. Yeah. Um. Please. Okay, signing out this evening. Good afternoon, everyone. We're just by the poolside, so it's a bit quiet. Um, but yeah, just just sort of, well, we've both ordered lunch. I've got myself some garlic bread, but I've also got some salt and pepper spray coming. I really wasn't that hungry. We've booked dinner um, in the centre of Uber again tonight, so I think we're going to go in a bit earlier there and just have like a little, a little bit of an explore, like around that area. Just a really big, long walk exploring, but yeah. How's your food? Beautiful. Just Beautiful. what I wanted. It tastes just like a wrap I'd make at home. And that's exactly <laughs> what I've been wanting for so, so long. Am I allowed to have one seeing as you've got so many? Oh, yay! Okay, so back in the room, I think. I think it's I think Jed's booked us a massage, but you know what? I actually couldn't quite tell you if that's a definite yeah. The English communication wasn't too great on the phone, but bless them. Hopefully, it's all good, and we're gonna go down at three. Jed thinks that it was buy one get one free. We'll see what goes on. So we're actually all dressed for dinner. Oh my god, that massage, Jed. Yeah. If you could expl, if you could like. Describe that massage in one word. What would you describe no, it as? We talked about the massage. No, we spoke to my parents about it. Oh, honestly, guys, it was probably the most painful massage ever. Normally, I ask for like a deep, deep massage mm. as hard as possible. Oh my fuck! They no swearing. Right now. <laughs> they I don't know yet. get the thumbs and dig it in as hard as possible and just go. It was. It was good. It wasn't relaxable. Yeah, it was a bit tension filled, but I don't know whether that was just because it was like a Balinese massage or it was just the ladies wanting to give us a lot of pressure. I don't know. 
right, we've just offered some food and yeah, we're actually going to an Italian. I feel like that's all. You okay? Yeah, of course. Oh, I feel like it's all we've eaten, or all I've shown you at least. But it's actually because a friendly out has recommended it, and I am so excited because I've been craving burrata since we had it in Semenyak because that was really good. Mm -mm -mm. I'm so excited to tuck into this. How is your bruschetta? Good. <laughs> tiny, tiny goat cheese. No, it's quite, that's big enough for one person. I think it's kind of been like tied off though, which is interesting. Don't mind me, I'm just poking my food. They look like little green beans, but they're not their pasta. <laughs> <laughs> What's that like? Yum. Yeah. Yeah. Don't like how it's on a plate. Yeah, Jen doesn't like for some reason. It's too fancy for it. <laughs> yeah, so for some reason, it's cheaper to get a whole bottle than just get two shots. Please so. Say price. Yes, please. Thank oh, you. Oh, wow. Nutella pizza. For a fine. That does look really, really good. Oh, nice. Cheers, baby girl. Jennifer. That's just pure citrus. Oh, and we're back. Slightly. Oh. I uh, might have mugged off Imogen by an accident. Yeah, I needed a wee so bad. Jed ran to the elevator, closed the door, and it wasn't coming up. Yeah, it wasn't open. It just wouldn't come back up. So I just went down by myself, and then you I clicked down. to the buttons to go back up. So it stopped at every floor before Imogen. And I desperately needed it away. Um, tipsy is a little bit of an understatement, isn't it, Jennifer? I'm sober. No, he's not. He's really not. I'll say a math question. I don't care if I ask you a math question. You always get them Go right. Um, 68 times 70. Right, whilst well, so he does that, I'm going to say what we're doing. So I'm going to jump in the shower now. Um, we've got a 6.45 start tomorrow, so we're definitely going to... 13,900... And 66. I don't know if that's right, so guys, comment section down below. Tell me if it's right or wrong. I think I've got this hella wrong. Is he sober? We've got a 6.45 start, which is interesting. So we're gonna jump, oh, well, I'm gonna jump straight in the shower and 4, head to 4,866. You sure you're going with that? Yeah. Yeah, okay, people down in the comment, I've got no clue. You've got not a chance asking 68 me. 68 times 70. Yeah, don't yeah, ask me. That, that's my guess. Check it in the comment section down below if he's got it right. 6.45 start, we've got Tanusa Panida, if that's how you pronounce it. It's gonna be a fun day, so make sure that you stay tuned. Good morning, everyone. We ain't doing morning, people. No, not at all. Mm -mm. So it's a bit of a shock to our systems right now. We're literally about to sprint up that massive hill. Um, we're a little bit late, but hopefully it's all fine. Right that <laughs> let's, let's go. Okay, we're on the phone and it's safe to say. I should have taken my C6 tablet this morning because I get really bad traffic sickness. I'm petrified. I really don't want to say It's just the worst. It really is. Okay, so first location, we're at somewhere called Broken Beach, which is really cool. Um, you can't get down to the beach, so it's basically this hole. I don't know how to describe it, I'll show you now, but like, we've just had some photos taken, I'll try and insert them. Um, it's really cool, but um, it's called Broken Beach because the road is broken to get to the beach, which you can't get to. So as you can see, it's literally like a massive hole, but I can't really show you much, but there's this like whole walkway around. Yeah, so underneath us is the hole to get into like, the other hole, <laughs> but yeah, really cool. Down for some fried noodle and some fried rice. Don't know what it's gonna be like, but Jeff's really easy. You can, you can see it in your little eyes. You. <laughs> yeah, bless you. Um, but no, I was alright because I kind of slept the whole way. So then when I woke up, I was fine. Yeah, pretty much. I don't want to be on camera. So you've got this lovely little face. Bone apple teeth, baby. I thought it was gonna be like some weird reason thought it was gonna be actual fried rice. But obviously it's just fried rice. Chicken. Good. Oh my god, like the immensity of it does not live up to like anything you see. This is crazy. Guys, is this worth it? We've been trekking down this hill for the past 30 minutes. Honestly, this is the steepest hill ever. I've ever seen. That's how steep it is. It's literally flat. Imogen just lost her slider. We're in sliders. Not the best uh, thing. I'm absolutely knackered. My legs are shaking, but this is the view. 
It is beautiful. And we made it. Oh my god. My legs are shaking so much. But wow, literally look at the waves. So Sam will have a drowned rat. We literally got totally wiped out. The waves here are actually so big. But yeah, we're gonna try and head up now. It's gonna be a massive nightmare though because it's like prime time heat and I'm really dreading it, but it's fine. Um, super sandy, got sand in places that shouldn't be in places, but that's okay. Damn baby, I got chicken snitchel, but I'm pretty sure it's just chicken fried. So I'm excited, so excited for that one. So it's got chicken satay. Me and Jed genuinely feel like death. That was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. It was literally holding onto the cliff with your bare hands and feet. Like, cause we, we honestly chose like the worst footwear you could possibly think like no one warned us we didn't even know it was going to be like that there was no communication so we obviously just wore flip-flops and sliders but oh beach tour out in bali they have this specific ice cream called um leone isn't it so good they do like ice cream cups and they do these kind of ice creams ice cream lollies and then like fresh fruit lollies as well honestly they're all so good also my phone is dead it keeps doing this it's done this for about 20 minutes now, just on and off, and I'm like, okay, I might not have a phone for the rest of the trip, love that. And good afternoon, so the last time I updated you, I was like, oh my god, my phone's not working. Yeah, you've guessed it, she's lost her phone, well, she hasn't lost her phone, but I've lost the usage of my phone, it's completely gone. It was showing the Apple symbol for ages, like on, off, on, off, and I was like, oh god, like, what is going on? I left it for two hours, two hours became four hours, it then came to six hours, and I was like, right, let's try something. So I was online, I was Googling, me and Jed were trying to do all the reboots, literally we've done all the hacks, I've talked to Apple support, and nothing. I now have a completely dead phone which is so sad because i got so many like amazing contents like as basic as it is like our jobs and our lives are on our phones so <laughs> love that for me i would be fine if it happened like three days towards the end of the trip i'd be like you know what that's fine relaxing retreat let's just zone out from the world but like midway through it's hard because like my data is the only data that's working out here like jed's isn't working out here so like, when we go out we need to get a map up it's a little bit of a problem. But yeah, we've now changed hotel just so we're in the center of a bird for one day. We're gonna get out, go exploring, but oh my God, guys, this villa. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God, guys. It's stunning. I'll give you a quick tour. This one was more expensive, but we were like, fuck it, let's just have like a really nice. Language. Sorry, don't say that. We just thought, why not? Um, we're only gonna be in Bali. Once. This is only one well, night as well, so yeah. it doesn't actually add up to a lot. No, we were gonna say, definitely gonna come back, but I was just like, yeah, we're at Bali once, do you know what I mean? So this is the entrance, and you walk up to the patio, and, and this is the setup. So you've obviously got a lounging area, pool, which is absolutely freezing, we've already tested it, and then, oh my god, look at this bedroom. I think I want my house to look like this. Like, this is just absolutely stunning. So you can then open these doors, like it's all just open. Even like the ceiling is just so high and gorgeous. I've never like slept in one of these, I can't remember what they're called. Do you know what they're called? I know it's a four post bed, but this is actually called something. Um, a romantic bed. Okay, Jed. Kind of reminds me of, you know, Sims. Um, there's me, <laughs> but yeah, and then we move into the bathroom, Jennifer, and yeah, I love this, I don't know why, I just like this sink, bathroom, that's a wardrobe, I wish we were staying here for longer, honestly, because it's in such a great location as well, this is the bathroom, and then again, you can open these up, are they sliding? Yeah, sliding doors, onto the bath, so you can have a bath with a bit of a poolside view, hello, <laughs> Go on, dive. No, it's too cold. It is actually freezing. No, thank you. That concludes our little tour. We're gonna get on with the day because we actually haven't got that many hours left. Well, we do. I'm lying. Um, but yeah, we're gonna now go into the center of Ubud, do a little bit of shopping, a little bit more exploring, um, and just getting to know like this area better. They just stopped up at Starbucks, got some red velvet cake, chocolate cake. I think this one's, is this one mine? It must be. I got a peanut butter sandwich. Like since when, I just love trying different Starbucks variations, it's so funny. I do apologize for my parents, I look absolutely beautiful for that. Mm. Wow, that's so good. Just not happy with me, so we just done a little I'm bit of shopping. I just said. It's so funny though, so we were doing like, oh, two seconds. Um, we were doing a little bit of shopping and there was this one dress that I saw like on the way here and I was like, oh my God, like I love that so much. And then we couldn't find it coming back and then just walking back to our hotel now. We found it and we paid for it, bought it and everything. And then we came out the store and just like, that's the ugliest dress I've ever seen in my life. I was like, <laughs> like he guys. doesn't like it. So we'll let you guys be the decision of it when we're back. I'll show you what I bought. But like, I'm pretty happy. I just don't like Oh my god, guys, look at this place. I'm in heaven. I love this so much. We just sat down and just, I don't know, just sit down and have a drink. 
And the menus are made out of cardboard. I don't know why, but I absolutely love this. I think it's absolutely adorable. Got a little mojito, and Jed's got a San Miguel, which is so weird because Jed just like doesn't drink at all. Are you struggling a bit there? Nice one. But yeah, love this for us. Up this little staircase is just run like four different dogs and they're all so cute. I don't know if you can see any of them, but they're actually adorable. I think some of them are like really, really like puppies as well. <gasps> Tell me that's all the cutest thing you've ever seen. <gasps> Stop it, it's like the Aristocats, but with dogs, not cats. <laughs> oh my God, look at the baby one. Just look. Yeah. You enjoying yourself? Yeah, I'm looking good. Not looking good. <laughs> I haven't been this whole holiday. I've now had like two sore, like my whole ankle. Love that for me. Oh, what is he doing? What an idiot. And I am already for dinner. Um, this was actually one of the dresses that I got today, which I am absolutely so obsessed with. It was kind of this Austria. I think I did video it. It was giving me Australian vibes, um, but I haven't got a bra on because she forgot her shepherd's bra. But it's fine because I, I have the chest of a 12 year old boy. Um, but yeah, really excited. Last night in Uber, let's go baby. Jed and I have been banished to the corner of the restaurant. No, basically they just said VIP service down one point. Yeah. Um, so this is our little setup. This is our table. There's the boyfriend. Looking at it, okay. Um, and yeah, like everyone's up there. And then obviously there's an inside. We are in a little private sector, which is fine. I'm gonna order ASAP Rocky. I think I'm gonna go for, it says Australian beef Angus. Whether that means steak or not, we're gonna hope that it means steak because I'm really feeling like a good piece of meat. Don't mind that, that's just dripping because it's so hot out. I'm um, I'm not my knee. You're not funny, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> We've got a lovely little uh, array of. We basically Guys, ordered by our food. Before you were like really scared of blood, it wasn't blood, it was a drink. Oh my god, no shit, Sherlock. We basically were like, oh, we'll order our second round of drinks when our first round of drinks comes. We thought food would have come by now. We look like absolute oh, alkies. We are alkies, alright? Yeah. Oh my god, this looks so good. Just got his pizza. We got a few sides coming. <laughs> really? Jealous. I'm really, really bloody excited. You can have, oh, excuse me. No good chips as well. I asked to get a um, truffle on these. Oh my God. Wow. We have absolutely demolished that. I had help from Jed, I'm not gonna lie. But that was like so, so good. Have you gone? No. No? No, I'm so Brazilian. Are you drunk? No. You still we have a problem. You're actually drunk? <laughs> Seriously. Result. Guys, <laughs> right, she's someone from fun with you, bro. <laughs> you're a dickhead, mate. Bro, this spot, I might as well like- your toenails are so manly. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, this spot, like it's gone, it's healing. <sighs> but uh, stop it. But I definitely need to turn it into like some kind of beauty mark because it's not suiting this face right now. Okay, wow. wow how are you meant to cut this? <laughs> Just all in one bag. Nah, don't be boring. All in one it. Oh, all yeah, in one. On my all in one. All in one. <laughs> Look what I'm working with. I don't know how you just manage that. She's boring. Who wants to watch me neck a drink? I'll go cold. Heart freeze, go back to you. And that is dinner done. Oh my yeah. god, we are so stuffed. I definitely think that that's a really good like last meal in Uber. This boy has been pissing me off all holiday. So Jed knows the pin to my car just because, you know, we're open in that kind of sense. Like I say, like, oh, Jed, just take my car, go and pay. But he likes to act like he's paying for every single meal and he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> and he'd be like, oh yeah, like it's fine, I'll grab it. And then put my pin in, thinking that it's his card, and it's not, it's mine. And then he'll, he'll turn to me as the waitress is walking away. Yeah. They'd be like, oh babe, can you put my card in your purse? But as I was saying, really good last meal in the Uber, but really good drinks to be fair. Like we've really struggled with like getting really good drinks out here. I don't know if it was just us finding like not the best places or whatever. I would really love to be staying longer in Uber, but like we're moving on to the next location, which I'm so excited for. It's gonna be amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna sign up for this evening and I'll check in with you in the morning. 
morning, sweetie. Oh my god, it's so dark. I know, it's, it's the whole so thing dark. for me was really dark as well. It's so weird. Hello. We just sat down for some breakfast and I'm actually struggling so much with the menu because there's so much I want. I don't know whether to have one of those like smoothie bowls because I haven't had one of those yet or like, I don't know, I'm, I'm such a sweet person so I'm looking at this area. But then like, I don't know, truffle omelette. Like that's insane, breakfast crepes. Like I don't know what to do. My classic English breakfast tea every single morning. I, I don't even think I drink it this much at home. Um, also, comment down in the comment section below. Uh, milky or strong tea because I have mine so weak, it's a joke. That's strong tea. Dead knows how to make a cup of tea. Like it's basically just milk with like a hint of tea. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. Okay, wow, this looks so good. We had French toast at the other place and like the bread was like this small. So this, oh my God, I'm so excited. This is banana yogurt as well. I was banging. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Such a pretty hotel. Like, why are we leaving today? Ow. I actually can't walk downstairs since we did um, Klee Kling Bay. Ever since we did that Klee Kling Beach, neither me or Jen can walk. Guys, it was the best experience. I don't think I actually touched base on it with you guys because that was like when my phone decided to be over. But oh my god, it was literally the best experience ever. Like, it was a proper hike. Like, we were basically free rock climbing. I really want to wear my cool trousers today, but just because they're too creased to be worn. I think it's because he secretly doesn't like them, but I really want to wear these trousers. I've actually got no Instagram content out here, like, at all. Which is crazy. Like, I'm not complaining because I've just been living, I've been loving life. I guess I'm not wearing these today. I really wanted to. I tried to call the, um, like, number where you can be like, can I have an iron, please? But it just didn't, like, really go through. So no iron for me. This was the other outfit option, which I absolutely love, but I'm like, is it too much to be wearing a full pink outfit today? I don't know, it's either this or black. Comfort zone is black. And of course I went with the black um, with my new balance trainers. I can't, honestly, when I found these on ASOS, I was trying to get hold of them for the longest time and they just weren't coming back into stock. And then I got them and now they're like my babies. Like I do not get these dirty. Um, so hopefully I won't get them today, they should be fine. Okay, so this boy, is wearing socks and sliders because for some reason he can't be a normal person and just wear sliders. Mate, I have ugly toes. I've just realised though. He's got ankle socks on. Mate, That's right. Even worse. Imogen, That's an it. No, put it back up. Put it back up. <laughs> Imogen, he's still in all my socks. No, I don't. I've I got, I've literally had one socks pair of myself. Clean left. And left. And left. And left. You're right. I'm not talking to you. I really. <laughs> this Starbucks that we're in, it literally has the prettiest view of the temple. I can't get over it. Like, it's so cool just to be in Starbucks and then have, like, this as your view. Um, it's literally just here and you get this. Like, it's crazy. Just come out of Starbucks. We've got pink drinks because I know I had one before. Like, I know that you can get them in America, but I haven't been to America in such a long time. Never tried it before. I don't know how to feel about it. It kind of tastes like you're drinking yogurt, but it's made with coconut milk. I don't know if next time I get it with normal milk instead of coconut milk, but I think that defeats the point of it. But we also got the vanilla sweet, sweet, cold foam thing. I don't know, but that's good. Sat down for some lunch, and oh my god, it looks so good. I've literally just been snacking on these so much. But this place called Orang, and it's so, so cute. Also, you see these everywhere in Bali. They basically have these trays, and they've got like flowers, biscuits, like anything that they kind of like want to offer as such. But it's like an offering to nature. It's not like to the gods, it's to the nature to like say thank you for everything. It was honestly so good. I had like this caramelized chicken and um, ginger rice. I don't think I've ever had ginger rice. It was so yummy. I can't get over it. But yeah, we're just going to head it back to the hotel now we've asked them to store our bags so we just kind of like chuck them in the taxi so i'll check out was at 12. we're leaving for Uluwatu now being two o'clock um and yeah okay and we're in Uluwatu. i'm gonna leave the video there because obviously that is all of it but done honestly i want to go back i feel like there is so much to do that i feel like it's one of those places you can never get bored the culture and just everything about it it is so rich and just like wholesome it's yeah, as I was saying, it is just so, it's such a community kind of place. I can't explain how amazing it was. I want to do more, like I want to stay there for like two weeks instead of like five days. I definitely felt like we were there for like a little amount of time, even though it wasn't. It really felt like it just because there was so much to do. But yeah, you're going to want to check the next video out, guys. Honestly, you really are. This place that we're in is stunning. So Incredible. <laughs> so make sure to comment down below. Give it a like. Um, subscribe and I'll see you in the next vid.
It's so good, I'm gonna my mum show you. <laughs> Peace, baby.